Stop, just for a second. Yesterday, November the 18th, 2025, a huge chunk of the internet just vanished. Cloudflare, one of the biggest companies that you've never heard of, but that powers everything, went down. Your favorite apps, broken. Dashboards, blank. APIs, failing. A single company sneezed, and the digital economy caught a global cold. But what if I told you this wasn't an accident, that it was an inevitability? And what if I told you that this exact moment of chaos reveals why one of the most understood projects in crypto was built? This isn't just about another outage. This is about a fundamental flaw in the entire structure of the internet. And there's only one project I know that was engineered from the ground up to solve it. Stick with me, because what happened yesterday isn't the story. The real story is the trillion dollar solution that's been hiding in plain sight. Let's send it. Hey everyone, and welcome back. And if you're new here, my name's Domenico, and we hunt for the real signal in the crypto noise, the foundational tech that's set to redefine our world. And yesterday, yesterday is one of those days where the signal is screaming at us. The massive Cloudflare disruption wasn't just an inconvenience. It was a live demonstration of Web 2.0's central point of failure. It proves that the decentralized world we think we're building still runs on the very centralized rails we're trying to escape. And this brings us to the Internet Computer Protocol, or ICP. Now, I know the jokes. I see the comments about the 2021 launch. I've heard them all before. And for years, people have overlooked the sheer engineering genius of this project because of the market noise, because of the price chart. But while everyone else was chasing narratives, ICP was building an entirely new internet stack. And today's, we're talking about something that is so special that it's one of a kind. And yesterday's outage is the ultimate, I told you so. So we're going to break down exactly how ICP's architecture is the direct antidote to the unstoppable and why this solution represents one of the largest potential market opportunities in the history of technology the mere fact that ICP has built the world computer. So let's get real for a second. Before we go on, we love to talk about decentralization. We hold our assets on chain, we use dApps. But what happens when you try to actually use one? You open a website, the website, the front end, the part your browser loads is almost certainly being served to you by a centralized company like Cloudflare, or Amazon Web Services that went down several weeks ago, the very DAP that holds your unstoppable assets is completely stoppable if that single company has a bad day. And it's like building a nuclear proof bunker, but the only door is made of plywood. It's an illusion. It's not going to stop anything. And you know what happens? The plywood door just got kicked in. And when Cloudflare went down yesterday, it created a bottleneck. It didn't matter if the blockchains were still running. It didn't matter if your smart contracts were secure. If the user can't access the front door, the entire building is useless. This is the problem ICP was built to solve. It's not about being a faster layer one for DeFi. It's about tearing out the entire rotten foundation of Web2 intermediaries and replacing it with something that's truly decentralized, resilient, and unstoppable. So how does ICP actually fix this? It's not just one feature. It's an entirely different architectural philosophy. First, as you can see, no more centralized front ends. This is the big one. On ICP, your entire application, the website you see, the backend logic, the user data, they live inside a smart contract called a canister. These canisters that you can see serve content directly to your browser, 100% on chain. Let me say that again, 100% fully on chain. There is no AWS. 
There is no Cloudflare. There is no middleman. When you use an ICP native app, you're interacting directly with a blockchain itself. It completely removes that single point of failure, those bridges, all those dependencies that just took down half the internet yesterday. Second, a protocol that heals itself. Okay, so what happens if some of the computers or nodes running on ICP go offline? This could happen. This is where the magic of its chain key cryptography comes in. Because the network is a unified whole, run by a master blockchain brain that is replicated across thousands of machines globally. So, if a group of nodes say in one location fails, the protocol doesn't even flinch. It seamlessly reroutes, reconfigures, and continues operating without a single second of downtime. There's no corporate dashboard to break. There's no central control plane to fail. The network is purely designed for resilience at a level that Web2 infrastructure can only dream of. And third, sovereign self-governing applications. As you can see, on top of this, applications in ICP can be governed by their own decentralized communities through something called the Service Network Nervous System, or SNS. This means that the app can evolve, update, and manage itself autonomously without a central team. Think about it, just think. The app is not only unstoppable in its execution, but it's also unstoppable in its evolution. It is a truly sovereign piece of software. This isn't just an incremental improvement. This is a complete paradigm shift. It's moving from a world of fragile, centralized bridges and dependencies to a world of resilient on-chain sovereignty. So what does this mean for the future for us? And why would this solution be worth trillions? Let's do some simple math in all of this. The global cloud computing market, dominated by Amazon, Google, and Microsoft, is a multi-trillion dollar industry. The market for CDNs and web security, led by companies like Cloudflare, is worth hundreds of billions. ICP is not just competing with other blockchains. It's competing directly with the entire massive Web2 infrastructure market. So, what is a premium for an internet that never goes down? What is it worth for the global financial system, for enterprise AI applications, for national digital infrastructure to run on a platform that is mathematically and cryptographically designed to be unstoppable? We're talking a pure decentralized cloud. That is the total addressable market here. We're not talking about capturing a piece of the DeFi pie. We're talking about re-platforming the internet itself onto a more secure, resilient foundation. Because every time an outage like yesterday happens, and it's happening more and more frequently, the sales pitch for ICP writes itself. It transitions from what we call a theoretical what if to a tangible urgent, we need this now. We need some sort of hybrid model because the world just witnessed the cost of centralization and is expensive. The solution is an internet that doesn't halt when Web2 intermediary sneezes. And that solution has a potential to capture a significant portion of that multi-trillion dollar market, not financial advice, but just a matter of time. Look, for years, people dismissed ICP because of the chaotic market conditions at its launch. You know, the, the FUD price action, they were looking at the price and definitely not the code. They missed the fact that one of the most brilliant teams in cryptography was quietly building the engine for the next generation of the internet. Of course, yesterday's event is definitely a wake-up call. As you can see, it's happening more and more frequently. It's the moment the world gets a painful reminder that the mission ICP has been on is not just important, it's an absolutely essential one. And this is your opportunity to understand the architecture of the future before the rest of the market connects the dot. Because I'm here to give you the data, the information, then it's up to you, not financial advice, to do your research and make your best informed financial decisions. So if you're getting this, if that light bulb is going off in your head right now, do me a favor right now, 
and hit that like button to spread this message and subscribe to the channel because we're going to be tracking the adoption every step of the way and drop a comment below what was the first app you noticed to go down today yesterday and let's talk about it because you know the centralized internet is not failing it's working exactly as designed but with bottlenecks with single points of failures with corporate control it was a great prototype but it's not built for the future we need and especially when we bring ai into the mix that future is being built on a foundation of cryptography and true decentralization an internet that's 100 percent on chain that's completely sovereign and resilient and this is what the world computer is all about because today it wasn't just a cloud a outage that happened it was a glimpse into the past the future an internet that doesn't break the future is unstoppable and it looks a hell lot like the internet computer as it's the only solution to be able to do this and thanks for watching stay informed and more importantly stay decentralized and i'll see you on the internet computer peace out